Hello students, in this video we will discuss how to rationalize the denominator. Students, in simple words, rationalization is a process of converting the denominator into a rational number. Let's understand this by considering one simple example. 1 by root 2 rationalize the denominator. As you know that root 2 is an irrational number, right? Multiply this with one more irrational number that is root 2. The resulting number is root 2 square. Here you can cancel out square and square root which is a rational number which is free from square roots. So the process of making denominators free from square roots is known as rationalization. The number with which we are multiplying is known as rationalization factor. So in this particular example 1 by root 2 is multiplied by root 2 divided by root 2 to make a rational number. In general we can say that for root a rationalization factor is root a. Similarly, if we have two terms, say root a minus root b. For this, rationalization factor is root a plus root b. Let us solve some more questions based on rationalization of denominator. Students, let us solve the following questions. These are based on rationalizing the denominator. The first one is 2 divided by 3 root 3. If you observe this question, in denominator, we have an irrational number that is root 3. In order to make this denominator into a rational number, let us multiply this with root 3. So that the resulting number is root 3 square which is nothing but 3 which is a rational number. Right students? As you know that in mathematics whenever we multiply we have to divide as well. So we will multiply 2 divided by 3 root 3 with root 3 divided by root 3. So it is going to be 2 root 3 divided by 3 into root 3 square. As you know that we can cancel out square and square root. Right students? So it is 2 root 3 divided by 3 into 3. It is 9. So simple right students? Let us look into the second question. The second question is 1 divided by root 7 minus root 6. Students, if you observe this here we have two terms. So for such type of questions we have to consider conjugate of the given denominator. Here comes the question what is conjugate right. So if I consider one example if it is x plus y is a term expression then for this conjugate will be x minus y right students. Based on this concept the conjugate for this will be root 7 minus root 6 conjugate is root 7 plus root 6. So, in order to make the denominator as a rational number, let us multiply the given question that is 1 by root 7 minus root 6 with root 7 plus root 6 divided by root 7 plus root 6. So, it is going to be root 7 plus root 6 divided by root 7 minus root 6 into root 7 plus root 6. Right students? If you observe the denominator which is in the form of a minus b into a plus b. Right? So which is let us let me write the identity first which is root a minus root b into root a plus root b. It is equals to root a square minus root b square. Where we can cancel out square and square root? Here also it is a minus b. So based on this identity the value for this expression is root 7 plus root 6 divided by root 7 square minus root 6 square. As you know that we can cancel out square and square root here also. So it is root 7 plus root 6 divided by 7 minus 6 it is 1 or we can write it as root 7 plus root 6. Students, here is the third question. 16 divided by root 41 plus 5. If you observe the denominator, here also we have two terms. So, let us consider the conjugate of the given denominator which is nothing but root 41 minus 5. So, let us multiply the denominator with root 41 minus 5 divided by root 41 minus 5. So, it is going to be 16 into root 41 minus 5 divided by root 41 plus 5 into root 41 minus 5. 
which is in the form of root a plus b into root a minus b. Let us write the identity for this which is root a square minus b square. Here we can cancel out square and square root. So, it is a minus b square. Right students? Let us apply this identity over here. It is 16 into root 41 minus 5 divided by root 41 square minus 5 square. So, it is 16 into root 41 minus 5 divided by 41 minus 25. That is equals to 16 into square root of 41 minus 5 divided by 41 minus 25 is 16. So, cancel out 16 and 16. So, it is square root of 41 minus 5. Students, let us solve some more questions based on rationalization of denominator. The first one is root 3 plus root 2 divided by root 3 minus root 2. If you observe the denominator, here also we have two terms. So, let us consider the conjugate. So, that is root 3 plus root 2 divided by root 3 minus root 2 multiplied with root 3 plus root 2 divided by root 3 plus root 2. Right students? So, it is root 3 plus root 2 into root 3 plus root 2 divided by root 3 minus root 2 into root 3 plus root 2. I hope that you will be able to recollect identities which we have discussed. So, we can write this one as root 3 plus root 2 whole square divided by root 3 which is in the form of root a minus root b into root a plus root b. So, we can write it as root 3 square minus root 2 square. As you know that root a plus root b whole square identity is a plus b plus 2 into root of a b. So, let us apply this identity over here. It is 3 plus 2 plus 2 into square root of 3 into 2 divided by denominator part. Here we can cancel out square and square root. Here also square and square root. So, it is 3 minus 2. It is equals to 5 plus 2 root 6 divided by 1 or we can write it as 5 plus 2 root 6. Right students? Students, here is the fifth question. 4 root 3 plus 5 root 2 divided by root 48 plus root 18. Before rationalizing the denominator, let us try to simplify the denominator part. That is square root of 48. As you know that we can write it as 16 into 3. Right? So, that is equals to 4 root 3. Similarly, square root of 18, we can write it as square root of 9 into 2. That is equals to 3 root 2. So, let us write these values in the denominator. So, it is 4 root 3 plus 5 root 2 divided by 4 root 3 plus 3 root 2. Let us take conjugate of the denominator that is 4 root 3 minus 3 root 2 divided by 4 root 3 minus 3 root 2. So, that is equals to multiply this term with this term. So, it is 4 root 3 into 4 root 3 minus 3 root 2. Right students? Plus 5 root 2 into 4 root 3 minus 3 root 2. And in the denominator, which is in the form of a plus b into a minus b. So, we can write it as a square that is 4 root 3 square minus 3 root 2 square. This is equals to 4 root 3 into 4 root 3. It is 4 root 3 square minus. Here, we can multiply 4 and 3. Right students? So, it is 12 into square root of 3 into 2. It is 6 plus 5 into 4, 20 into square root of 2 into 3, it is 6 minus 5 into 3, 15 and square root 2 square. This whole divided by, as you know that 4 root 3 square is nothing but 48 minus 3 root 2 square is 18. So, this is equals to 4 root 3 square is 48 minus here, minus 12 root 6 plus 12 root 6. So, we can subtract. So, it is 8 root 6. And here it is square and square root we can cancel out. Right students? So, it is 30 divided by 48 minus 18 is 30. 
so in the numerator also 48 minus 30 is it's 18 plus 8 root 6 divided by 30 here by can by taking 2 as a common factor so it is 9 plus 4 root 6 divided by here also we can write it as 2 into 15 cancel out 2 and 2 so it is 9 plus 4 root 6 divided by 15 students in next video we will discuss some more questions based on rationalizing the denominator thank you for listening and have a great day